The PUP Open University System or PUPOUS, also known as the Pamantasang Bayan, is a fresh and innovative system of delivering higher educational services in a manner that differs from the formal, highly structured, and classroom-oriented traditional approach. With the vision of the University President Dr. Manuel M. Muhi, towards the National Polytechnic University, OUS Institute of Open and Distance Education, or IODE, provides an opportunity to maintain, complete, or continue university study. It services the educational needs of individuals who could not be regular students attending classroom-based instruction because of various professional, domestic, and personal circumstances. This people include those wishing to return to school. Uh, we still need to keep our day jobs. In our case, uh, it's at night. So it's better for us to have yung class lang na once a week and then module na lang yung regular days. Ang aming schedule ay tatlong beses lang kami sa isang buwan nakikita ng aming mga professor at ang aming mga kaklase at the rest ng aming setup ay online learning. Kaya naman na nagkaroon ng pandemya, hindi na naging mahira para sa aming OUS students ang mag-adjust sapagkat kami ay meron ng blended mode of learning ng una pa lamang. Since itong PPOUS, meron silang blended learning, merong online session, merong offline session. Kapag ikaw ay nasa work, biyahe, going to work, during your lunch or during your breaks, you can access your email portal. You can submit anytime. You can provide your answers kapag may discussion. You can read anything using your mobile phones. Habang nag-aaral ako, um, nagtatrabaho din ako and it works fine with me. I was able to pull it off uh, knowing na napagsasabay ko sila po. And I'm really thankful that PUP is offering this kind of program para sa mga tao na gustong pagsabay na pag-aaral habang nagtatrabaho. This is the right um, school for you. Being a state institution, it offers free tuition and a flexible system of education. IODE is known for its flexibility, individualization, and adoption of new technologies in course development, production, delivery, and student support. IOD offers the following undergraduate and graduate programs. The institute is led by the University President Dr. Manuel M. Muhi. Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Emmanuel C. De Guzman, and the OUS Executive Director, Dr. Carmen Cita L. Castolo, and the IODE Director, Dr. Rosemary Beth R. Dizon. Their leadership is assisted by the Academic Program's Head and Program Chairs. And the Support Unit Heads and Administrative Employees. Synchronous and asynchronous classes are facilitated by highly qualified and well-known course specialists in their respective fields.
as an accredited member of professional organizations that include the International Council on Distance Education, the Asian Association for Open Universities. PUPOUS has been acknowledged by the UNESCO Asia Pacific Region for higher education knowledge based on open and distance learning in Bangkok, Thailand. Since 2003, Ang inyong pamantasang bayan, PUP Open University System, the country's first open university. Alright, good morning everyone. Isang magandang 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 umaga po sa inyong lahat. And welcome to our uh, webinar for today entitled Microboost. And my name is Benjamin Magsalin and I'm one of your hosts for today. And we want, we would like to inform na in a few minutes, mag start na po ang ating webinar. Alam ko na nag-abang kayong lahat. Yung iba talagang uh, nag-register ng mas maaga. Ito nga. I, I would like to re remind everyone na please Please uh, register para makahab. You can use the QR code na makikita dyan sa ating mga screen. You can use that QR code to scan and to register para makahabol pa sa ating uh, registration for today's webinar. Bakit? Dahil marami tayong prices for today. Hindi lang, just, hindi lang siya prices, isang bonggang-bonggang mga prices. Ano-ano ito mga to? Gcash prices that you can able to use on your GCash accounts. And then, I think meron tayong magandang announcement for today because on addition to this, our guest speaker will be giving away, alam nyo ba kung magkano? Worth 15,000 sa dalawang pwedeng manalo ng kanyang franchise business milk tea. So guys, that's total of 30,000. So, ano pang hinihintay nyo? Register na. And not only that, you can... Uh, you can get your e-certificate once na makapag-register po kayo sa aming webinar for today. Hope you have fun for today, for today, guys. And let's learn some new things on this morning. Maraming maraming salamat po and stay tuned lang sa aming webinar for today. We will start in a few minutes. Maraming salamat po.
The PUP Open University System or PUPOUS, also known as the Pamantasang Bayan, is a fresh and innovative system of delivering higher educational services in a manner that differs from the formal, highly structured, and classroom-oriented traditional approach. With the vision of the University President Dr. Manuel M. Muhi, towards the National Polytechnic University, OUS Institute of Open and Distance Education, or IODE, provides an opportunity to maintain, complete, or continue university study. It services the educational needs of individuals who could not be regular students attending classroom-based instruction because of various professional, domestic, and personal circumstances. This people include those wishing to return to school. Uh, we still need to keep our day jobs. In our case, uh, it's at night. So it's better for us to have yung class lang na once a week and then module na lang yung regular days. Ang aming schedule ay tatlong beses lang kami sa isang buwan nakikita ng aming mga professor at ang aking mga kaklase at the rest ng aming setup ay online learning. Kaya naman na nagkaroon ng pandemya, hindi na naging mahirap para sa aming OUS students ang mag-adjust sapagkat kami ay meron ng blended mode of learning ng una pa lama. Since itong PPOUS, meron silang blended learning, merong online session, merong offline session. Kapag ikaw ay nasa work, biyahe, going to work, during your lunch or during your breaks, you can access your Imabinit portal. You can submit anytime. You can provide your answers kapag may discussion. You can read anything using your mobile phones. Habang nag-aaral ako, um, nagtatrabaho din ako and it works fine with me. I was able to pull it off uh, knowing na napagsasabay ko sila po. And I'm really thankful that PUP is offering this kind of program para sa mga tao na gustong pagsabay na pag-aaral habang nagtatrabaho. This is the right um, school for you. Being a state institution, it offers free tuition and a flexible system of education. IODE is known for its flexibility, individualization, and adoption of new technologies in course development, production, delivery, and student support. IODE offers the following undergraduate and graduate programs. The Institute is led by the University President Dr. Manuel M. Muhi. Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Emmanuel C. De Guzman, and the OUS Executive Director, Dr. Carmen Cita L. Castolo, and the IODE Director, Dr. Rosemary Beth R. Dizon. Their leadership is assisted by the Academic Program's Head and Program Chairs. And the Support Unit Heads and Administrative Employees. Synchronous and asynchronous classes are facilitated by highly qualified and well-known course specialists in their respective fields. As an accredited member of professional organizations that include the International Council on Distance Education, the Asian Association for Open Universities, PUPOUS has been acknowledged by the UNESCO Asia-Pacific Region for higher education knowledge based on open and distance learning in Bangkok, Thailand. Since 2003, 
ang inyong pamantasang bayan. PUP Open University System, the country's first open university.
Dear Lord, we gather here today to learn and grow as future entrepreneurs. We ask for your guidance and wisdom as we listen to this webinar. We pray that you open our hearts and minds to new ideas and perspectives, and that you bless us with courage and determination to put what we learn into practice. Help us to maintain a positive and growth-oriented mindset, even in the face of challenges and setbacks. We ask for your blessings upon this webinar, its participants, and the speakers, and for a successful outcome for all. Amen. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang maghiling, Diyos ang silakanan, Alam ng puso, sa titik mo'y buhay. Lupang hinihang, Kuya ka ng maghiting, Sa mantulupin, Di ka pasisigil, Sa nagatak tutok sa rules. Please always place yourselves on mute when you are not speaking. Unmute yourselves and speak only when it is your turn to speak. Be polite and do not interrupt. Eliminate any distracting noise. Questions or queries to resource persons and facilitators should be sent using the Facebook chat box. Keep your questions minimal and on the topic. Please avoid commenting any unnecessary, impolite, and or derogatory comments. Lastly, pay attention and participate when necessary. Let's all have fun while learning. Let's all welcome our host for today's webinar. Ellie works as marketing officer, a speaker, trainer, events host, and the founder of Working Students Moms PH. We also have Bench, currently working at MPTC Group of Companies, Loves Beach and White Sands, a volleyball player and a Muay Thai boxer. We got AJ, working as a freelancer, as a customer specialist and loves to spend karaoke nights with family and friends during her free time. Then we have L'Oreal, currently working as a virtual assistant and shows passion for singing and loves to travel. Lastly, we have Carvic, working as an account supervisor and has a small business, loves also to travel and do gaming. Are you an aspiring entrepreneur who would like to start a business? Or an existing one who would like to start a So, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Micro Group, empowering entities through responsible microfinance. And of course, we are here and excited to give you another learning today. Kanaman, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and bless to be partner with me. Amazing work, okay? So let's check them one by one. So good morning, Ben. Ayon, maraming maraming salamat, partner Ellie. No, ah, uh, 
Bago ko simula ng aking sasabihin, isang magandang, 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 magandang umaga po sa ating lahat sa mga nanonood ngayon. And I think sa ating Facebook Live partner, we are about thousands of viewers na partner. No? Maraming maraming salamat po sa paggising ninyo ng maaga at sa pagtutok sa amin ngayong umaga nito. Marami na marami kayong pwedeng mapanalunan. At hindi lang yung partner, marami silang pwedeng matutunan sa araw na ito. Ako po ang inyong likod. Benamin Francia Magsalin at kasama ko po dito si uh, ang ating mga partner no partner si partner Loriel partner you can introduce yourself to them All right so good morning everyone how are you doing Before we go any further kindly share this live broadcast so we can reach many people and share this knowledge that we are about to receive you can put your locations on the comment section and we will try to read as much as we can And also, so we can notice you. Who knows, you might be one of our lucky winners. So I'm L'Oreal, and we also have AJ with us. AJ, take it away. Hi. Hi. Good morning, everyone. We're really so excited for this, you know, webinar. And it is a shared effort from our, of course, professor and in behalf of, you know, um, entrepreneurship class, uh, we're section four and under Mrs. Fama. Um, so we really are thankful for this today's webinar because I know that you are spending your time with us as well. So uh, yeah, we'll see it and uh, we'll, we'll, we are all excited to know who will be the speaker for today. So yeah, uh, what about you, Karvik? You know, thank you, AJ. And again, I would like to thank all of our viewers uh, for watching us, for being with us. Kasi aside sa learnings na makukuha natin from this uh, webinar, may mga pag-games tayo. And sa dulo ng ating webinar, merong uh, mabigat na pasurpresa yung ating visit. Kaya stay tuned and huwag kayong aalis. Sobrang, ano, sobrang game changer nitong ay pamimigay ng ating guest speaker kaya wag na wag niyo palalampasin. Kaya alam ko naman excited na tayong lahat kaya wag na natin pang patagalin. Let me pass on uh, the mic to our co-host Benj and Loriel for the opening remarks. Guys, the floor is yours. Ayun, partner. So ayun na nga. So For our opening remarks partner no I uh, I would like to give some uh, introduce our uh, speaker opening speaker for today's webinar no uh, he's one of the great leaders who stand out and leads our section partner no his calm voice always recognized and all the decisions he make are always benefit for all ikaw partner ano ba yung pagkakilala mo sa kanya Shamper, he's a good friend and he's our class president. He's our pillar and our confidant through the years. And with no further ado, for the opening remarks, it will be given by no other than our class president. So let's watch this. All right. Magandang umaga. Ako at ang aking mga kasama through the guidance of our professor, Professor Lani Carfama, ay natutuwang kasama namin kayo ngayon. Our webinar titled Microboost hopes to share knowledge about business and finance, particularly microfinancing, through our guest speaker for today. We hope that you utilize this knowledge to become a better entrepreneur and an overall person when it comes to money. Once again, Good morning. Maraming salamat at mabuhay po kayo. Ayun. Maraming maraming salamat sa iyong opening remarks uh, to our class president. To. Ayun nga nabanggit ko partner. No? Laging napakakalmado ng boses niya. No? So always recognize the very calm voice na pag na naririnig mo, no? parang lahat mag stop na and then he, everyone listens to him. That's right, partner. No, kaya naman again um, to our class president. Grabe, this is the last, the last activity natin. So we would like to thank you and all the officers, lahat ng mga naglead 
for us to be able to reach this far. And of course, aside sa learning and natin partner no na matutong hayan ngayong araw, we are so also happy because, sempre another exciting part, we will be proceeding with our um activity kung saan pwede kayong manalo. And yes. partner, no, two hundred pesos G cash load. Hindi na masama yung partner, no? Nakinig lang sila, sumali lang sila, nag-register lang sila, nagkaroon pa sila ng 200 pesos at G-cash prices for today. Sabi, partner, sobrang, sobrang napaka-well off ng ating mga sponsors for today. Mamaya pakasalamatan natin yung mga yung partner. Partner, ito na nga. So, we will be randomly... And of course, let's announce our first Western winner. That's gonna You know, kaya ang ating first winner for worth 200 pesos Gcash. Alright, so ito na ang ating first winner, si Miss Anna May Flaviano. Thank you very much. Uh, and congratulations, Miss Anna. Just leave a message to our Facebook page so we can be able to give your prize worth 200 pesos of Gcash. Congratulations. Yes, that's right. So comment, comment, keep on commenting because at this time, we will be revealing our second winner. Dun, 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 dun. Congratulations to Jen Calupas Gascon. Ayan, sabi niya, good morning. Bless, God bless 4-4 four, four in the team and organizers. Bonga, di ba? Yes. Thank you, thank you, Jen, and congratulations to you. So Congratulations, Miss Jen. Yes, actually, para sa mga winners natin, ito, ito yung nag-share, 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 nag-share lang ng ating Facebook uh, uh, page. At the same time, uh, yung ating uh, nag-register din, no? Sila yung mga may, may, may pinakamaraming shinare sa ating Facebook page. Alright? And our last winner for Paniwala pa lang to partner no kasi napakarami pa nating premyo ang mga papapremyo na pwedeng ipamigay ngayong umaga ito. Actually partner gusto ko na nga ilagay yung pangalan ko do sa registration form <laughs> kasi ang <laughs> laki ng prizes natin for today but hindi naman yun talaga ang ating mithiin ngayong araw na to. Ang mithiin natin ngayong araw na to is to to gather uh, some learnings for today sa ating uh, speaker partner. But no, wag na nating patagalin ang ating last winner for today sa ating first uh, game. Pa lang pa, isang pa-extend pa lang natin to. Yes. Okay, Miss Mayet Dalusong. Good morning Ooh. po. Heart, heart, heart. Yan po ang sabi niya. Maraming salamat po and congratulations, Miss Mayet Dalusong. For all the winners, congratulations po. And just leave a message on our page or on our messenger page so we can able to give your prices on your GCash account partner. No? Yes. Grabe, napaka, napaka bongga ng ating ubagang ito partner. Absolutely. So we hope that we really energize you this morning. You know? So please stay tuned kasi marami pa tayong pa-exena mga pa-prizes bonggang bongga. And of course, this is the moment that we are waiting for. So kaya naman, let's have our co-host Adrian Carvey to present our speaker for today. Take it away, guys. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so uh, much, Bench and Ellie. Thank you. Yeah. Congratulations din sa ating mga winners and sana pwede rin kami sumali, no? Pero sabi nga ni mm -hmm. Bench, hindi kami nandito para sa papremyo. Nandito kami upang ibahagi yung uh, magbigay ng learnings ba uh, para sa inyo. Uh, ipapaubaya na namin sa inyo yung mga papremyo na yan. And speaking of learnings, Yung ating uh, bisita for today's webinar uh, partner AJ is ano, sobrang special. Sobrang bigat din itong ating speaker for today's webinar. Uh, pinanood ko actually yung mga videos niya online uh, sa mm -hmm. YouTube. And sobrang informative talaga. No? Uh, I'm sure hindi lang about sa microfinance ang ating matututunan for today's webinar and other aspects na rin ng pagbibusiness. Kaya naman, ano, uh, AJ, baka may masasabi ka sa ating, ano, sa ating speaker for today. Actually, I don't really want to give any clue. <laughs> Talagang pasabik eh, no? I don't want to give his name. Yeah, kasi, wala. Um, I just want to thank this person as well for his time and sharing his knowledge to us. I know that uh, we will learn a lot from him today about, you know, responsible microfinancing and all that. All right, so what are we waiting for? Of course, um, 
let's watch the video to know more about our speaker for today. Hi, good morning everyone. Hello, hello, good morning, boss Panda. Naku, parang ang hirap naman pantayan ng energy ninyo. <laughs> Taas ba, masyado? <laughs> Kayang-kaya mo to, boss. <laughs> Masyadong mataas. <laughs> Alright, kasi excited ang ating viewers. <laughs> so, how many persons na ba or how many yung viewers na natin ngayon? Actually, let's, let's we see. think there are... 1,000 plus viewers. Sorry, hindi kami nanonood sa 600. Live. 630. 600. Yeah. Oh, Kanina nag-1K or 633. Malaking bagay mga kaibigan because um, first and foremost, uh, I wanted to reach, um, not because, no, just to promote myself, no. I wanted to reach a lot of our Filipino friends uh, who want to learn more about business because um, yung topic natin ngayon, yun yung mga, ito yung topic na ayaw ng karamihan sa atin because it has been um, given a lot of negative thoughts when it comes to microfinancing. For short, utang. <laughs> Ayun. So, ngayon, um, allow me first to share my screen. Ayun, medyo techy na tong part na to. So, um, share screen natin. And if they have questions, Boss Panda, no, they can ask later on after your talk. They can just put yes, the questions please. on the chat box on our Facebook Live. Yeah, so viewers, yes, uh, handa nyo ng questions later on. Thank you. And also, Boss Panda, can they just send you a message if in case hindi natin makater lahat ng questions? Can they send you a direct message sa page mo? Yes, uh, they can share po. Um, I, they can ask me directly sa page ko. Um, if in case may mga questions with sila with regards sa business, ha? Um, wag na sa love life kasi medyo <laughs> hindi tayo sa ano. Sa business, sasagutin ko kayo. <laughs> Ayun, so check lang natin. So your Facebook account is Boss Panda TV altogether? Yes, po. Yes po, Boss Panda TV. Ayon, and also our YouTube po is Boss Panda, uh, uh, Boss Panda underscore TV. And then for our TikTok is Boss Panda underscore TV. So, ayan po, paminsan-minsan po, nag-TikTok din po tayo. <laughs> so, sample, sample. <laughs> sample eh. Yeah. Ayan. So, uh, check ko lang guys, no, kung nakikita nyo na po ba yung screen ko. Yes. No one. Yeah. Yes, we can yeah. see it now. Yeah, all right. So, ayun. Um, so, allow me to introduce first myself, guys, no, to everyone. For those who haven't um, seen my blog yet and uh, known me personally, ayun, uh, I am actually uh, a business owner of uh, one of the premium dealers of LG commercial laundry machines here in the Philippines. Um, I am catering to supply and distribute the commercial graded um, LG machines being used for uh, DIY laundry mats, laundry mats. So yung nakikita nyo dyan na mga full service at mga DIY na one hour laundry, possible ako po yung nagsupply nun. Ayun po, I am catering Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. And at the same time, I am an chairman of the board of an IT company po dito si sa Philippines. Um, I have telcos. And at the same time, I do have some 
small businesses for retail and distribution po and at the same time for franchising ayun po so um uh, i i dedicated myself really in business because uh it has been my obsession for a lot of years presenting to a lot of people and managing a lot of people so before who kasi no uh, sorry masyadong seryoso pero before um my my dream talaga is not to be um kumbaga sa harap ng computer as my as my um college degree says na information technology i really wanted to be an outspoken person so i wanted to be in connection with people to present to people and at the same time it have relationship with a lot of people and share my knowledge as well ayon so ayan po yan po yung mukha ko Yan po yung mukha kong parang nagsasalita na mag-umutang na kayo. Boss, sorry, naka-mute ka ata. Ayan. So, Ayun. okay. Sir, saan po ako na, nawala? <laughs> I think so, the slide before that po. Uh, uh, before yung microfinance. Yes. Ayan, ayan o, yung, yung picture nyo na nagsabi na uh, something. <laughs> okay, tama ba ito? Okay. So balik lang natin no para sa mga hindi naharinig ayon. So again, uh, yun nga po yung microfinance natin is yung the provision of a wide range of financial services to the poor and low income people. So basically ito po yung pagfi-finance po dito po sa atin at sa mga institutions galing po sa mga bangko. Actually po kar karamihan po na nag nagbibigay ng microfinancing po sa atin are mga thrift banks. Ayun po, and rural banks. So basically po, nanggagaling po yung lahat ng income ng bangko sa pagpapahiram. So yan po talaga yung buhay nila. So technically speaking, naanjan po yung bangko para magpahiram at yung mga thrift banks. So marami ho kasing classification ng ng bangko dito sa Pilipinas. Sabihin ko na din po para sa knowledge po ng mga mga viewers natin and listeners natin na ang ang mga bangko dito ay ang rural banks, number one. Number two, savings banks. And number three, um, thrift banks o yung talagang pinaka-specialize sila sa pagpapaloan. Pero pwede rin silang kumuha ng mga accounts. And then unibanks, ayun po, marami po tayo ditong uh, unibanks here in the Philippines, especially the seven major banks. So hindi ko na masyadong ipabanggitin yung mga pangalan nila dahil wala po silang ano, uh, wala po silang promotion dito sa webinar natin. And then um, lastly, mga financial institutions na nagpapa-utang po. Ayun. So moving forward, yung microcredit itself, actually opens the door to those who do not have access. So basically, as microfinancing, yung term natin ng microfinancing, um, yung microcredit na, na kumbaga, ito yung tawag na nila ng Banko Sentral ng Pilipinas, kumbaga, just to simplify yung meaning ng microfinancing. So actually, hindi lang po siya for small businesses, talagang ini-aim ng Banko Sentral ng Pilipinas na magpautang po not only to businesses or small medium enterprises but also to certain individuals who want to avail of the services so that they could have a better life in terms of the approach in their financial management. So at the same time, magkakaroon sila ng opportunity na magkaroon ng better leverage on their daily lives in having a separate 
generation of income or magkaroon ng isang mas expanded business kung meron na silang negosyo. Ayun po. So hindi ko masyadong binabasa yung presentation ko po kasi may, may, may mas deeper meaning yan eh. So allow me to give you a brief history ng microcredit or microfinancing in the Philippines. So actually, it started 1970s. So fun fact, ayun, kakalabas ko lang po ng vlog ko na na to. Um, 1970s, nalabas yung microcredit dito sa Pilipinas. Inoffer ng mga banks here. Pero 1980s, lumabas naman po yung credit card natin. So imagine 10 years, 10 years yung inabot po ng na paghihintay ng mga kapwa kababayan natin way back 1980s just for them to get that uh, offer of having a credit card on their own. So, pero mabalik tayo. Usually ang nag nag offer lang nito way back 1970s is yung government natin through directed credit programs. Ayon. So, actually gumawa po yung gobyerno natin ng subsidized program for the rural poor. So, way back kasi not all have investors. Hindi pa lahat nakakuha ng investors and at the same time, hindi lahat may access doon sa sustainable loan program or credit program para mabigyan ng opportunity. So, hindi rin lahat may employment during that time para magkaroon sila ng tinatawag nating proof of income na maayos para pautangin ng mga banko. So, instead, ang gobyerno po natin ang gumawa ng paraan para magkaroon tayo ng microfinancing. So, in the late 1980s, the Philippines was among the first group of countries to replicate the Grameen Banking on a large scale. So, it is a legitimate non-government organization, so NGO, implemented in microfinance program through Grameen Bank Approach Replication Project. So, involved pa rin po ang ating gobyerno para magkaroon tayo sa pribadong sektor natin sa Pilipinas ng microfinancing. So, in the late 1990s, the government policies were reformed. So, through our um, charter change, which was the late sa Ligang Batas 1987, ayan po, the government policies were reformed to private sector participating in the delivery of credit. So, nagkaroon po tayo sa awa ng JOS ng National Credit Council or the NCC, crafted in 1997 in the National Strategy of Microfinance, which reinforces the government's market-oriented credit policy. At nung na po ang 2000, nahandal na po tayo ng BSP and the rest is history. So as of the moment po, patuloy pa pong nag-grow ang ating uh, gobyerno at pribadong sektor na mag-provide po ng mas maayos na microcredit sa ating mga kababayan and sa ating mga nagsisimulang negosyante. Ayun po. So, microcredit technology and methodology. So, para para sa kaalaman lang po ng karamihan, no? ito po, based na po ito sa akin. no. So, visually po kasi, uh, ang microcredit or microfinancing is actually cash flow based. Ayun po. So, wala hong nagpapautang ng equipment, wala pong nagpapautang ng property. Actually, meron tayong loans for property, pero when you say microcredit, they are really focused on cash flows talaga. Ayun. Sa totoo lang po, no, um, ang, ang mga, yung mga tinatawag nating Bombay or 56, they are also known as microcredit, pero fi private po, no. So, sa madaling salita, no, microcredit din yung approach nila. So, actually, with that, may mga frequent amortization tayo. Doon sa mga, sa mga small, sa small amounts of microcredit and microfinancing natin dito sa Pilipinas, meron tayong daily basis ng pagbabayad. Actually, meron din weekly and bi-monthly and meron din tong monthly. So, usually nangyayari itong mga, mga short-term payment amortization sa mga cooperatives po natin. Ayun po. But on the, on the rural bank side or in the banking institution, they usually do, doing it in monthly basis po. So, minimal requirements lang po ito yung microfinance natin. So, technically speaking, yung minimal requirements that we are talking about, no, um, hindi po ganun kalaki yung magiging requirement ninyo. And typically unsecured. So, no collaterals to. So, usually binibigay po ito madalas sa mga mga kababayan po nating magsasaka 
mga nasa ano po, nasa industrial part ng ng lipunan po natin. Ayun po. So So kung may maraming nag-wonder before I continue, maraming nag-wonder kung ako isang empleyado, am I am I kumbaga can am um, I can be granted for a microfinancing loan? The answer is yes. Ayun po. Pwede po mga kaibigan. Kung halimbawa empleyado po ako or halimbawa non-employed po ako, halimbawa self-employed ako, yes, pwede pa rin po. Sir, paano po kaya kung halimbawa uh, may small business ako, naka-enroll po sa BMBE, ayun, sa micro business po. Yes, pwede pa rin po. Ayun, as the word itself, micro. So, paano po kaya kung halimbawa sole proprietorship type of business po ako? Pwede pa rin po ba ako maka-avail ng microfinancing? Yes po. So, hanggan po nakikita ng banko or other finance, financing institutions na ikaw ay able magbayad at ikaw ay pasok doon sa sa kanilang um, rules and standards. Yes pwede po ikaw and as long as you are a citizen of the Philippines ayun po so moving forward there are two types there are two types of loans here in the Philippines actually um the first is the individual loan lending actually it focuses in one client and does not require other people or uh, other people or other provide collateral or a guarantee loan so kung madalas po kayong nakikinig before no ako kasi naririnig ko to dati sa mga magulang ko or sa mga adult nung time ng kabataan ko no so pag may nakikita akong nagsasabi ng ay may guarantor yan ayon so it means pag individual lending lending po hindi nyo po kailangan maghanap ng tao or ibang tao na pipirma doon sa ina-avail ninyong loan ayon po your loan, loan amount so Usually po ito nagre-range po coming from uh, 10,000 pesos to 500,000 pesos. We call it the unsecured loans. Ayun po. So no need na po for collateral like for example, may mga financial institutions kasi na, na nagpapa-collateral pa. Hay like for example, ko collateral mo yung titulo ng bahay ninyo, titulo uh, yung ORCR ng sasakyan ninyo. So based doon sa kinolateral amount mo, yun lang yung pwedeng, yun lang yung pwede mong ma ma-avail sa kanilang amount. So, it is also subject for appraisal pa. Ayun. So, next tayo. So, also, may tinatawag tayong group lending. So, also known as solidarity lending is a mechanism that allows number of individuals to provide collateral or guarantee loan. So, through a group of repayment pledge. So, bibihira po ito nangyayari. Usually, nangyayari po ito um, pag nagkaroon po kayo ng isang kooperatiba. So, usually, joint liability scheme to. So, kung sino yung officers ng kooperatiba, sila po yung nag-garantor. So, bibihira po ito nangyari. Or, halimbawa, meron kang group of people in corporation who wants to be a guarantor for you just for the financing institution or the banking institution to grant you a loan. So, kung halimbawa po, if you're looking for a bigger amount, To, to to finance sa inyo po on your purpose of loan kailangan po mag magsama-sama ng mga tinatawag nating um, proof of income or income level na mga kasama ninyo just for that loan to be granted sa inyo po so para sabay-sabay po sabay-sabay po yung loaning sa granting sa uh, granting of loan doon sa mga nag-guarantor sa inyo so Microcredit can be accessed through the following financial institutions. So first, uh, non-governmental organizations, private institutions, and companies, companies which are DTI and SEC registered. So, so wag huka yung basta-basta magwapasa na mga tinatawag nating requirements or information about you or your organization or company or small business or yung tinatawag nating mismong confidential information about you to a non-registered private institution kasi they might use your information to other purposes. So, mahirap na po. Especially nowadays, there are a lot of uh, mga schemes and scams na ginagamit 
yung mga information ninyo for other purposes. So, number two, the credit or the cooperative. So, community-based cooperatives that grant small loans to its members. So, kung halimbawa po, may nakilala ko kayong kooperatiba, napakaganda pong sumali sa grupo na ito. Dahil kahit papano ho, nag-grant ho tayo, especially kung non-member na ho kayo, ng mabilisang loan. So, kung in terms of emergency, you can really access this credit com coming from your cooperatives. So, may meron po tayong mga community cooperatives you can you can actually uh, access this one coming from your barangays so pwede ho kayong magtang, magtanong sa barangay ninyo kung uh, sino po ba dito kap kagawad ang mga registered cooperatives natin sa komunidad natin also meron din pong mga private cooperatives inside the un union or kung may mga union ho kayo sa mga kumpanya ninyo ayun po may mga sarisariling cooperatives po yan and usually it works with um mano mano monthly na nagbibigay ho kayo ng uh, ano ninyo contribution as well and last but not the least yung isa sa mga nagkumpis talaga are the rural banks and the thrift banks they have been active over the years granting finance funding to its enterprise ayun po again mga kaibigan no um outside this presentation i'm telling you banks are there for you to get money and loan. Ayun. So mag-loan kayo sa mga banko because yan talaga ang pinaka-sole purpose ng bank. Diyan sila kumikita. Hindi po sa pag i ng pera. Ayun po. So, next po natin. So, ito po, uh, data ng BSP. Um, last 2013, pinag-aralan ko na po itong data na to. Not because I wanted to know the meaning of this, but I want to use this uh, on my own as well. So, last 2013 to 2019, actually po, no, um, micro enterprises and small businesses, 82% po sila po ang naglo-loan galing po sa mga microfinancing institutions natin and banks. So, next naman po is micro agri loan, 6% para po sa mga for agricultural purposes natin. For housing microfinance, yes, pwede po kayong magpapafinance ng house renovations nito. Ninyo, through microfinancing, nag-open na rin sila ng for housing renovations, 6% po yan. And then sa microfinance plus, 1%. Ayun. Sa mga nag-wonder, ano po ba yung microfinance plus? Ayun. Sa microfinance plus po, ito yung mga nagpapautang din. So kung halimbawa, nagpautang po sila ng certain percentage doon sa private institution na yun, pinapautang din nila po yun sa consumers po. So, and the others are 9%. So, um, apart from this in our image in the presentation, may nilagay po ako ditong description for Credit Bureau. Ayan po, para sa kaalaman lang po ng karamihan po, lahat po ng loans and lahat po ng um, tinatawag nating financial asset dito ay dumadaan po sa tamang ano po, kagawaran ng gobyerno, which is yung Credit Bureau natin. So, usually, uh, kalakip po ng credit bureau yung tinatawag nating uh, credit information corporation or yung CIC na sinasabi pa naglo-loan ka ho, kahit kay home credit, even nga po kay, ano eh, kay Gcash or Gcredit, kasama po si credit bureau at si, uh, credit information corporation at kalakip po ito ng ating Bangko Sentral ng Pilipinas sa pagbibigay ng tama at secured loans sa ating masa. Ayun po. So, Kung makikita nyo po dito yung isang diagram, nagsisimula po tayo sa isang borrower. Ayan po. So, like for example, you have uh, credit information or movable asset. Ano po ba itong credit information na to? So, like for example, meron kang income documents of if you are, if you are uh, an employee or having a small business, meron kang income documents po na pinapakita. Ngayon po. Ngayon, pinapasa po itong income documents po sa credit bureau for them um, to CI or mag-credit investigate. Ngayon, pag credit investigate ka ng financial institution, magpapadala po sila ng mga tao to check your to check your house or kung saan ka nakantira. Or kung halimbawa, kung saan ka nagtatrabaho, pinapacheck din po nila yon. Ayon. And the other one naman po is yung mobile asset. Kung meron ka pong halimbawa, Kung makikita niyo po dito, may sasakyan ka, may bahay ka. Halimbawa, meron kang nakatime deposit. Halimbawa, or naka-insurance ka po. 
ayun, may proceeds ka for insurance, pwede nyo pong i-collateral yun at makuha po sa lending institution yung full amount nun. So dito po, sa movable asset, kung, mag, kung ano po yung collateral amount based on appraisal ng collateral registry, yun po yung nakukuha na amount ng borrower. Ayan po. Dito naman po sa credit information, kung ano po yung maximum um, applied loan amount ninyo, yun po yung nakukuha based po doon sa approved na kaya nyong bayaran based on your uh, income documents. Ayan po. So medyo medyo maano lang tong part na to, no? Pero madalas po, nandito po ako sa credit information, hindi po po ako gumagamit ng movable asset. Ayan po. Kasi hindi pa naman po ganun kakailangan talaga. Pero yes, uh, credit information is already giving us a big maximum amount of loans. Mamaya po, i-discuss ko rin po kung ilang kung gano'ng kalaking loans po or amount ng loans ang pwede nyong makuha. Ayan po. So, next. There are two classification of loans in the Philippines. Okay. Secured loans. Yan. Yung secured loans po. This is with collaterals. Ayan po. Uh, unsecured loans, this is without collaterals. Usually, this is microfinancing and personal loans. Ayan po. Actually, si credit card din po are also part of the unsecured loans. Ayan po. Si secured loans po, halimbawa po, no, it doesn't necessarily mean na hanggang 10 million lang po yan. So, depende po kung halimbawa may property po kayong mas malaki sa 10 million and you wanted to use it as collateral, yes, you can use it po as long as meron kayong clean title of it and wala pong, wala pong nakalagay sa title or certificate of encumbrances sa registry of deeds na um, unpaid loan. Ayon. So kung halimbawa po meron kayong unpaid loan at hindi pa po nagagrant ng banko for ay na nasa-certify ng banko na completed na po yung loan na yun, kung halimbawa ginamit niyo siya sa previous loan ninyo, hindi niyo po magagamit yung loans uh, yung yung title na yon para i-collateral for another loan. So kailangan po sa likod ng titulo natin along with the certificate of encumbrances may nakalagay po na cleared na. Ayun po. Meron ho kasi tayo mga kababayan dito na pag halimbawa na nakapag-loan na gamit yung na collateral nila yung yung uh, house and lot nila or other properties nila, ginagamit ulit nila for other loans yung titles po nila. Ayun. So, as sky is the limit po as long as kaya pong tapatan po ng um ng collateral uh, yung yung mismong property or collateral uh, item or or property yung amount na hinihingi ninyo doon sa financial institution. So, unsecured loans po, ito po, dito po madalas nag naglalaro ako before. Ayun. So, madalas po, uh, nag-a-avail nag po ako ng personal loans sa mga banking institutions po natin. Ayun po. Uh, first and foremost po kasi, uh, ang pinakakailangan lang dito is yung mismong uh, PDC or post-dated check. So if you have a check na po sa bank ninyo, mas mabilis po kayong makakapag-avail ng mga personal loan po kasi yun po yung magiging um, assurance nila ng pagbabayad mo. Ayun. May mga may mga financial institutions din naman po um, coming from 100,000 and below na amount ang nirerequire nila is magkaroon ka ng account sa kanila. Ayun po. So but on the other hand, on the thrift banks po Ah, uh, pag sa mga thrift bank po kailangan meron ka pong account sa kanilang bubuksan, doon nila po papasukin yung proceeds nila at doon na rin po magkakaroon ng ADA or yung tinatawag nating auto debit arrangement po. Ayun po. So next po slide natin. So other types of loans here in the Philippines. So ayan po, napakaraming loan po ito. Lahat na po ata ito na ano ko na na na-avail ko na no so kung meron man tinatawag na hari ng utang no uh, sasabihin ko na po proclaim ko na po ang sarili ko bilang hari ng utang no so hindi ko po kinakahiyayo dahil kailangan pag para ma-proclaim mo ang sarili mong hari ng utang dapat hari ka rin ng bayad di ba so marami ho sa atin ang natatakot sa pagdating sa utang actually ho um, kung kagagamitin niyo sa tama yung utang, magiging advantage po yan at magiging sobrang, uh, kumbaga, 
plus points po sa inyo na maging group, good payer ho kayo sa isang financial institution dahil po no pag good payer ho kayo darating yung panahon kahit ayaw yung umutang no which is na nararanasan ko na po ngayon kahit ayaw yung umutang no anong nangyayari po pinipilit ka na po ng inuutangan ninyo na umutang ayun po dahil po nararanasan ko na po yan ngayon ayun po so several types of loans po no pero lo loans nangyayari po ito kung halimbawa meron po kayong banking or banko na kakabit ng inyong kumpanya na nag-o-offer ng or na meron kayong meron kasing tinatawag tayong ano eh payroll cash card sa mga companies usually sa mga medium enterprise hanggang sa big enterprise ayon so kung sino yung partner bank nila for payroll um, usually nagpapautang din po yung mga banko na yon usually mga unibanks, ayan po, ang nagpapautang niyan sa mga empleyado din po nung partnered company nila. Cash loans. Yung cash loans po natin, ito po yung mga tinatawag nating mga app loans. Dito. Kasi sa, ngayon po, may mga app loans sa tayo na pwede kang umutang ng as easy as 5,000 pesos to 15,000 pesos. And at the same time po, mabilisan lang yan, makukuha mo kagad. And yung mga mga retailer natin na mga um, remittance centers, ayun po, nagpapautang din po sila ng cash loans. Ayun. So, sa example ko na po, si Buana po, MU Willier, ayun po, nag, mag, nagpapautang po yan ng cash loan. Paano ko po nalaman? Umutang na rin po ako sa kanila. <laughs> ayun. So, credit card cash advances, ayun po. Yes po, kung ikaw ay isang credit card holder, Pwede ka na pong makapag-cash advance. Kung hindi ako nagkakamali, is actually 35% of your actual credit limit ang nakukuha mo. So, yan po. Depende ho kasi yan sa kada bangko kung ilang percentage ang inaalaw nila sa credit card holder nila. Ayan po. So, naka nakapag-try na rin po ako ng cash advance dito sa mga credit cards. Pero hanggat maaari po, no, based on my experience, hanggat maaari, please, 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 sa bangko kayo mangutang, wag sa credit card ninyo. Ayun, pwede kayong mag-swipe for purchases but not on the cash advances. Ayun, medyo mataas po yung interest niyan. Ayun. Next is yung personal loans. Ito po yung pinaka pinaka known po dito sa Philippines, yung personal loans. Usually, nag nagde-declare tayo dito ng mga mga uh, tinatawag nating mga people na which they can do a CI. So kung employed ka po, usually si CI din po ng mga financial institutions yung mismong pinagtatrabahuhan niyo po and at the same time um pinagpapasa po kayo ng mga income doc documents like uh, ITR natin or yung ITR uh, sorry ITR uh, pay slips and um paminsan hinihingan din kayo ng statement of account for your bank or savings account ayan po car loans ayan po Ma marami po tayong car loans dito so yung car loans natin napaka napaka extensive na ng mga car loans natin no so uh, may mga all in dp na nga po no may mga all in down payment no so kung halimbawa gusto mong kumuha ng fortuner no may nakita ako before no 150,000 all in down payment na may fortuner ka na so ngayon ang labanan na lang kung makakapasa ka sa in-house financing ng mismong provider um or sa bank sa sa banko na affiliated sila. So, ngayon, kung nakapasa ka, definitely marirelease yung unit mo. So, meron pa pong na umit dito, no? Housing loans. Ayan po. Ito po yung pinakamadalas na meron po tayo. Housing loans not only being given by the financial institutions and banks, but also given as well by our very own pag-ibig. Ayan po. So, kung meron po kayo, nagbabayad po kayo sa pag-ibig, please, please use it for your own leverage and advantage to buy a property. Gamitin niyo po yung mga pag-ibig niyo. Huwag niyo pong huwag niyo pong hayaan na makuha ng iba yung pag-ibig niyo. <laughs> Ayun. So, you know, moving forward, ayan po. How to handle your loan amounts. Ito, galing na po ito mismo sa akin. So, so definitely pag naglo-loan po kayo mga kaibigan ko, use for income generating assets. Ayun, wag na wag niyo pong gagamitin yung mga loan amounts ninyo no para pang flex lang sa social media at at the same time no humingi ng simpatya sa masa no. So kung halimbawa 
nagkaroon ka ng amount, sabi, 100,000 loan amount, syempre, kung bibihira ka makakuha ng 100,000 at makahawak ng 100,000, kung ano-ano, for sure, ang bibilihin mo mga kaluhuan sa buhay, no? Para ipakita sa social media na successful ka. At at the same time, sa pagiging successful, no, sasabihin ng mga nakakita ng post mo sa social media, sasabihin nila, ay, mayaman na si ganito. So, please, kung ganun yung magiging purpose ninyo, wag na wag yung gagawin yan. Ayun, no? Kasi kung meron man, no, na totoong mga mayayaman dito, yun yung mga oligarchs dito sa Pilipinas. <laughs> wag nyo kayong mag-isip na mayaman na ho kayo dahil, kumbaga, <laughs> alikabok lang tayo at isa ako doon, alikabok lang ako <laughs> sa mga totoong mga mayayaman dito sa Pilipinas. Ayun, so, Make sure to create a payment structure plan. So, kailangan po, meron ho kayong structured plan pag nagloloan ho kayo. Huwag ho kayong basta-basta. Kung ha, kayo po ay nag income sa isang taon ng 250000 to 500000 ang total ng income ninyo sa isang taon. No? Gross po yan, no? Huwag ho kayong magloloan ng 3 million pesos. Ayun po. So, wag na wag ho yung gawin yon. So, dyan po tayo nagsisim- nasisimulan mabaon sa utang. Ayun. So, Use a formula of handling the loan amount. So, ayan po, marami po sa mga kababayan natin ang hindi alam kung paano gamitin ang loan amounts nila. Especially kung nagranta na sila ng isang financial institution or banking institution. So, ang karamihan kasi sa atin, iniisip natin, if you have a loan amount of 100,000 pesos, ang gagawin nila, no, 100,000 pesos din yung gagamitin nila para doon sa purpose ng loan nila. So, mali ho yun. Ayun. Actually, may, 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 may mas proper way pa po akong na formula regarding po sa pag-handle ng loan amount. Ayun po. I will now share my secret on how I handle my loan amounts. Ayun po. So, this is my own formula. Only here in Microboost, I will share this one. Not even my business partners knows this one. Not even my wife knows this one. <laughs> so, only in Microboost, I will share this one. So, my own formula is kung halimbawa, if you have that 100% loan amount, no? So, sabi natin, outside na po yung sa mga deductible fees. Ayon. Ayon. So, May nag-comment po no kung meron po bang audio. So, pan-mention naman po kung may audio. Hello po. Hello po. May audio pa ba ako? Hello. Ayan, hearing yeah. you now. Ayan. Yeah, Ayan, we're meron. hearing. Okay. All set. Sige. Yeah. See you were excited for more learning. Thank you. Okay. So, ayan, magpapatuloy lang po tayo dito sa loan amounts natin. So, usually po, sa 100% po, outside po doon sa mga tinatawag nating document- documentary stamp fees pa nagloloan po tayo kasi may binabawas po dyan na processing fee ang financial institution and as per batas po, nagbabawas talaga sila ng processing fee and for other legal fees. Ayan po. Um, halimbawa, the 100% uh, portion, no? 30% lang nun, i-keep mo for amortization purposes. Ayun, so halimbawa sa 100,000, nagmamonthly ka ng 5,000 pesos. Sample lang, no? 5,000 pesos. At least, meron kang 30% nun sa 100,000. So, may nakatabi sa'yo na 30,000 pesos pang monthly. Why? Why, Boss Panda? Kasi po, hindi naman po agad-agad, no? Kung halimbawa, nagkaroon ka po ng investments slash purpose of loan. So, hindi naman po agad-agad na meron ka na kagad naging na-generate na income doon. So lahat po ng businesses pag inopen nyo po or halimbawa side hustle mo no, nagkaroon ka ng uh, part-time job, nagbebenta ka ng mga nag- naging online seller ka, hindi naman kagad-kagad puputok po 'yan no at magkakaroon ka kagad ng generate generation of income. So sa amin sa mga negosyanteng katulad ko po, ayun po. Ang meron po kami tinatawag na honeymoon period. So Yung honeymoon period, ito po yung parang sa mag-asawa, no, nag-honeymoon. Usually, nag-honeymoon ang mag-asawa talaga, no, as per, as per census, no, <laughs> three months, ayun po. Three months, nasabik, sabik, nasabik kayo sa bawat isa, ayun po. So, ganun din po sa loan. Three months ka po muna, mag, mag-set aside ka ng pang three months na pang-amortization mo. 
three to five months, ayun po, na kung saan, gagamitin mo din yung loan amount mo na yon pang amortization. Ang gagamitin mo lang talaga for your purpose of investment or purpose of loan is 50%. Ayun po, 50% lang po ang gagamitin nyo. So kung halimbawa, naglo-loan ko kayo, ang kailangan nyo sa purpose of loan ninyo is 100,000 pesos, then definitely, mga kaibigan, ang kukunin yung loan amount is 200,000 pesos. Huwag kayo pong sakto-sakto kumaga mag-apply ng loan ng sakto-sakto. Mag-apply po kayo ng medyo may pasobra ho kayo. Ayun. Para at least, kahit pa paano, hindi kayo umabot sa point na sa tatlong buwan pa lang, nawala na yung buong nilo ninyo. Ayon. So also, naglalaan din po ako ng 20% para sa emergency fund for amortization or loan purpose. Halimbawa, medyo kinulang pa talaga ako ng konting-konti na lang sa computation ko doon sa investment purpose ko. So halimbawa, nag-start ako ng business na worth 100,000 pesos. May kailangan pa palang ayusin ng mga papeles, etc. Which is, ayoko muna maglabas ng sarili kong pera. Ayan po, ang ginagamit ko po is yung galing din doon sa loan. So at the same time, kung halimbawa, hindi pa talaga ready yung, yung income generation mo, at least meron kang 20% no, na emergency fund na pwedeng pang amortize din at the same time. So imagine that, nagamit mo wisely yung loan amount mo na wala kang nilalabas na pera at magkikreate sa'yo ng income generation. So, Pagdating naman po sa loob ng negosyo, ibang usapan na po yun. Always lang po, papalala ko lang po, outside na po to sa microfinancing, if you have created a business of your own at naging self-employed ka, wag na wag nyo pong iisipin yung income ninyo is your own self-income na. No. Uh, create yourself as part of your organization or your business. Dapat sinasahuran nyo po ang sarili ninyo. Why? Because... Pagdating po sa point na pag may income no kayo, dapat binabalik nyo po yung sa negosyo, yung net income ninyo, no? yung proceeds nyo, para i-invest nyo ulit to create further more development or expansion sa business ninyo. Huwag na huwag nyo pong iisipin na pag kumita po yung 100,000 ninyo ng 120, ay nang 20,000 o 50,000, No, ipunin niyo po muna yan, ibalik niyo po sa negosyo para lumaki ng lumaki ang negosyo ninyo at the same time, nakakabayad kayo ng amortization amount ninyo doon sa loan amount ninyo. Ayan po. Fun fact, ayan po. I started uh, becoming a businessman of my becoming a businessman through personal loan. Ayan po. My very first loan is 500,000 pesos po coming from coming from a very good bank here in the Philippines and I created my first laundry shop. Now I I now I have 14 laundry shops ayun across the Philippines po and which also serves my showroom ayun po and has given me a lot of opportunities na to create other businesses coming from that focused uh, business of mine ayun po. So Next and but not the least is yung, okay, sir, paano po namin maayos, um, paano po namin maayos yung interest? Which interest ba ang the best? Ayun po. So guys, to give you guys an idea, no, kung may nag-aalok sa inyo ng loan, ito po, maraming kababayan natin dito ang nabubudol, no, sa, sa mga, sa mga kababayan nating Chinoy, no, ito mga maaalam tong mga tao na to, kasi mga bata pa lang yung mga Chinese people po, tinuturuan na ng negosyo at pagdating sa pera, ayun, pero on my own, no, I have my own formula, so, ito hindi to galing kanino at galing to sa akin mismo, so, um, pag halimbawa, may nag-offer sa inyo ng loan amount, at sinasabi, 3.5% interest ang month natin. So, kinukumpound pa yan para sa annual interest. no Dapat, pag may 3.5% interest ka, 20% dapat ang return ng monthly income mo para masufis mo yung mismong loan amount mo for net income, pasahod sa'yo, at amortization. Okay? Same goes for 2.5% interest. Dapat 15% ang balik mo and and so on for 1.5 interest to 10%. Ayun po. Usually po, to give you guys an idea, pag tumungtong po kayo ng 2% and above, private institutions na po ito. Hindi na po ito banking. Ayun po. Pag 1.5 to 2, 
personal loans po ito for banking. Ayun po. Pag tumungtong naman ho kayo ng 2% at above sa banking, meaning po, business loan po ang ina-avail ninyo sa mga banking institution natin. Ayun po. So, ayun po, nag ko po yan lahat ng knowledge na yan through my years of of loaning, no? And uh, right now, uh, I am proud to say that I have millions of utang But yet, I'm still not problematic enough because I'm using this formula of mine because banks are there for us para utangan. Ang banko kumikita para magpautang. Ayun po. Ini-invest din nila yung mga nasa-save nating pera sa mga other investments na kung saan mareplicate nila yung pera at nagkakaroon po ng interest yun. Ayun po. So kung halimbawa po walang umuutang, ngayon po pinipilit um, pinipilit nila yung mga good payers ng banks na umutang sa kanila. Ayun po. And they all have their own reserve of cash na kung saan talagang purpose ninyo nung cash na yon is para ipaloan po. Ayun. So wag na wag ang masama ho kasi dat sa atin dito sa Pilipinas. Dahil marami ho sa atin dito ang mga kababayan natin na hindi nakakapagbayad ng maayos sa mga utang. Kaya po, nagiging negative ang approach ng utang. Actually po, utang is a method on how, uh, is a method for financial rerouting of cash flows in a financial industry. So, method po siya ang utang. You borrow, you use it. Money is just a tool. Ayun. So, kung halimbawa po, dito sa atin kasi, marami sa mga kababayan natin ang walang disiplina on how to handle yung mismong income nila, how to handle yung loan amount nila. So, kaya po nangyayari, nagiging bad shot po sa karamihan ng institution at sa karamihan ng tao pag sinabing, yung tao na yan, maraming utang na yan. Actually po, no, hindi na po ako lalayo, no, yung mga malalaking institusyon at kumpanya po dito sa atin, no? lahat po yan may mga utang <laughs> to give you guys an idea, yung mga malalaking kumpanya. Ayoko nang sambitin kung sino, pero they are the oligarchs of our industry. So kahit gaano sila kayaman, no? umuutang pa rin sila because they do not want to use their own money, but they want to use the bank's money because yun yung purpose ng bank. Ayan po. So sana po nasiyahan po kayo at na-inform po kayo na maigat may natutunan sana kayo sa mga pinagsasabi ko dito. And before I close this one, money is just a tool for us to use. Huwag niyo pong sambay ng pera at huwag niyo pong bigyan ng emosyon ang pera. Yun lang po. Thank you very much everyone. Thank you Microboost. All right. Thank you so much, Po, for the knowledge and the words of wisdom, Boss Manda. This is really an exciting and empowering experience. I really like how loans were explained. There are good and bad credits, and I'll surely apply it on my finances. Do you agree, partner? Yes, of course, Ayel. And thank you so much, Boss Panda. Talaga nag-iba yung perception no, when it comes to utang uh, when, you, when you did explain it to us. So talagang um, it really helps us uh, in the future. Let's say gusto namin magtayo ng business and all that. So andyan naman ang bangko, sabi nga ni Boss Panda. So yes. And wag sasambahin daw ang pera. <laughs> Money. <True. laughs> yes. <laughs> all right, Don't so... put emotions uh -huh. on it. <laughs> For now, um, we will still keep you on the backstage, Boss Panda, for further announcements. We still need you. Is that okay, Po? Yep. Thank you. And we will proceed to the Q&A. Let's give the floor to Karvik, Bench, and Ellie. Thank you. All right. Ayan. Ayan. Of course. Thank you. Thank you, Ayel and AJ. Grabe naman. So, isa talaga yung naalala ko no, sa talk ni Boss Panda. Uh, use that loan, di ba, into income generating asset. Yung talagang makakapagdala or may source ka na alam mo kaya mong pagbayaran. So, grabe. Sobrang valuable talaga yung ating learning today. So, ayan. Um, partner Carvic and Bench, no? So, we are excited to answer the questions sa ating yeah. mga viewers. Yes, Sige, we're back. Questions yeah. ng ating mga, mga viewers. Uh, let me share lang kung ano yung takeaway ko for this webinar. Na-share ni Boss Pan. So, so, 
Ang isa sa take away ko is yung you can use other people's money or in this case is use other institutes money. So yeah. Advantage. Yeah. To... And yeah, may utang responsibility. Hindi pwedeng utang ka lang ng utang tapos hindi ka magbabayad. Eh, kasi raan yun para sa'yo. Eh. Baka kasi in the future kinakailangan mo mag-loan for expansion or anything. Tapos hindi ka nagbabayad or man nagkaroon ka ng bad record from an institution. Eh, ikaw yung tatama. Agree, exactly. that's right. Partner, yes. And alam nyo guys, no, pag nagpautang tayo, no, hindi lang naman yung pera yung pinapautang natin. Parehas din dito yung tiwalang bumibigay natin doon sa pinapautang natin. So, talaga ang dami nating learnings ngayong umaga nito, partner. And I know lahat din ng mga nakikinig sa atin ngayon. I think kumabot na tayo, Boss Panda, ay mga parte ng one... 0.2 viewers sa ating Facebook wow. Live. Congrats, my dear boss. Congrats, Boss Panda. Thank you, thank you. Ayun, so, I, I know maraming followers si Boss Panda, kaya naman tinutukan siya <laughs> ngayong magang ito. So, ayun, talagang bonggang-bongga ating yung mga Facebook Live viewers ngayon. And I know may mga nag-pop-up din na mga tanong na partner na nakita rin ng ating technical committee na it will be flash on the screen and Uh, for sure, kaya-kayang sagutan to o sagutin ito ni Boss Panda. Siyempre naman, kaya-kaya. Sure. Kaya. Basta hindi love life, ha? <laughs> <laughs> Yun lang. Alright. Ang ating first, ang ating unang tanong ay from CHAD or Chad. Ah, okay. Medyo mapang body ng tanong kagad to, Boss Panda. Uh, why do you think startup entrepreneurs are hesitant to avail microloans despite the potential benefits they offer income starting businesses? Okay. Uh, Pagpasok kasi yan, ano eh. It's not because of your financial capability, no? At it's because of your... Uh, ika nga, no? Tatagalo din ko na nga. Mahirap mag-ingles. Ayun. Um, put ka kasi sa sarili mong multo. Yun kasi yung problema sa karamihan ng mga negosyante dito sa Pilipinas, no? Um, pag alam nila, pag sinasabi nilang negosyo, mahirap daw. Oo, maraming inaasikaso ang negosyo. Bakit? Hindi ba mahirap yung pag-aaral? <laughs> Ganon din po yan. So, so pag nag-aaral ka po, no, to give you guys an idea, nag-aasikaso ng mga clearances, thesis, documents, and a lot of paperwork. So, actually, the, the, the educational system of the Philippines is actually preparing a lot of us to be um, prepared pagdating sa pag-aayos ng negosyo. Sa totoo lang, pag, nag- pag nagkaroon ka ng negosyo, uh, maraming papel ang aayusin mo. But, But that's, that's not the really answer for that question. But the real answer is, just take that first step. No, uh, Kahit sabihin natin, wala akong kapital, wala akong pera, ayun, papano ako mag start ng negosyo ko? Paminsan ho kasi yung takot, yung doubt, yung what if, malugi, yun yung malaking malaking question palagi sa isang tao na nagiging hindran sa atin mag-start ng negosyo. Actually, You don't need that a lot of capital. You only have you only need is yung kakayanan mo kung saan ka expert sa kay- kakayanan mo. Like, meron ako nakitang host kanina na graphic artist, no? Sino ba 'yon? May graphic artist na na host kanina na nandi-describe. So, uh, actually I do I do remember one of my friend, no? Nagsimula siya maging ano, side hustle niya magpa kumuha ng mga clients, gumagawa siya ng mga logos, other graphic designs for companies, no? Right now, the person has already studio, no? Mer- yeah. nag- nag-expand na rin siya to ano to uh, photo studio, video editing services, ayon. So the guy has already um, some, ano ba? 18 employees and having a net income of 2 million a month. Ayun. Yeah. Nakaka-amaze naman yun, di ba? Grabe. So boss, can we also say ba na they are, uh, itong mga startup entrepreneurs na to, kaya sila hesitant is, they are not confident enough or satisfied with the values na pwedeng ibigay ng kanilang product or services. Kaya naman, definitely, uh, sila, ayun. So, dapat talaga, maging confident ka muna sa sarili mo. Kasi pag, pag hindi ka confident sa sarili mo, lahat ng ibang kakayanan mo, hindi mo na ilalabas. Yes, yung true potential mo, kumbaga, is hindi mo mailalabas. Yes, bro. Alright, thank you, boss. Thank you so much. That's very beautiful, no? And yeah, yun, uh, remind ko lang, kanina yun yung aming class president po na graphic uh, artist, ayan. So, alam mo na, uh, Israel, ang potential na pwede mong maging business. So, and of course, we will be proceeding with our second question. So, let's flash it on the screen. From our classmate, Angela. Sabi niya dito, what are the pros and cons of having loans in starting up a business? 
Well, ang pros nito, no, meron kang tinatawag, meron kasi sa loans, no, sa business, meron tayong tinatawag na capital loans at meron din tayong tinatawag na um, expansion loan. So, uh, meron din tayong tinatawag na credit line. Ayun po. So, kung na, kung kung meron po sa inyo dito ng nanonood ng uh, Shark Tank, ayun po. So, usually, uh, they are using this um they they are using these terminologies ng mga bilyonaryo sa US na uh, kung maging partner mo ako, no? Um, aside from my equity share o yung share ko doon sa mismong negosyo ninyo na percentage, meron din kayong makukuhang credit line. So meaning, meaning ang credit line na yon, pag kinailangan ng pang inventaryo sa negosyo, meron kang makukuhang amount ng loan. Kumbaga, sa kanila din yon. Pero, hmm. ang, yun yung pros eh, ng loan eh, para sa negosyo mo. Meron kang immediate cash fund. Ayun. Ang pinaka-negative naman nito, yung cons nito, is palagi ka naghahabol. Ayun. Palagi ka naghahabol. And actually, ito yung nagbibigay ng pressure sa karamihan ng mga small businessman dito sa Pilipinas. So, once kasi pa nag-loan ka, meron ka ng tinatawag nating pressure of paying on time. Ayun. Why? Because if you haven't paid on time, masisira yung credit score mo sa CIC or yung Credit Information Corporation. So, pag bumaba yung credit score mo, Malamang na malamang, hindi ka na mapapautang sa susunod na kailanganin mo ng utang. Ayun po. So again, um, ako naniniwala ako na pressure is there if you don't have a plan. Ayun. So and again, diamonds are formed under pressure. Ayun po. Thank you, thank you for that. And for our last question, partner, so alam ko marami pang gustong magtanong kay Boss Panda, but uh, uh, I'm pretty sure marami pa siyang gustong ano, no, sagutin na mga tanong. But this will be our last question na magagalang kay Ms. Jubika Haru Fernandez Tachibana. Okay. Ng pangalan? How can small <laughs> business owners ensure transparency and avoid potential pred predatory practices when seeking microfinance or microcredit services? Ayan. Well, uh, first and foremost kasi, yung transparency lang naman is the reason why I I have included no uh, a formula of my own na which is I I found it na very effective no. It's because yung predatory practices kasi ng mga microfinancing is to include more interest ayon. So that's why yun yung yun yung sinasabi ng ating mga kababayan na masyado namang predator to nangangain ng buhay. So kumaga sa sa mga salitang kalye, ginigisa ka sa sarili mong mantika. Ayon. So, gigisahin ka sa sariling mong mantika para ang pinapakita mo na lang hindi na yung negosyo mo kundi yung mismong banko na pinag or yung microfinancing institution na pinag-utangan mo. So, again, that's why I created yung mismong percentage. So, if you are if you want to avail a loan, always ask for the percentage. So, and at the same time, yung yung target ninyo Like for example, 3.5% yung interest ng monthly amortization. No? Kailangan mong makahanap ng income na 20% na bumabalik sa'yo. So based from your loan amount. So pag hindi mo naabot yun, well definitely you are ready at the dead end na. So mahihirapan ka ng bayaran yun. So again, always practice good formulization on your loan amounts. Huwag po kayong bara-bara. Ayun. Create a plan and use a formula. Ayan po. All right. Thank you for that. All wonderful answers, Boss Panda. For sure, marami silang na pick up mula sa yon at marami silang na tutunan mula sa yon yung umaga nito, Boss Panda. And kaya kami mga hosts o mga partners kato di Boss Panda. Nagtake down notes din kami at abdami namin na tutunan mula sa yon. Salamat po. Yes po. Thank you very much also for having me on your program. Ayun. And again, this is my first time being um, invited by uh, by by a school or university. Sabi ko, ayos din pala no na na-invite na rin pala yung inyong lingkod na po na tinatawag nilang scammer sa utang. Hindi <laughs> 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 po, it's just a mouth, just sana joke lang naman 'yon. Pero yes, um 'yun po yung uh, hindi talaga nalalaman ng karamihan ng tao, yung responsible utang. Ayan.
So thank you once again, Boss Panda, and we will definitely see you in a bit, okay? Uh, but for the meantime, so pasayahin ulit natin ang ating mga viewers, kaya naman L'Oreal and AJ, please take it away for our activity. Alright, but before that, partner, let's take a photo of Muna with mm. Boss Panda. Oh, yes. yes! Of course. Boss Panda, photo off lang po tayo. <laughs> Yung iting ano, nakapag-loan. <laughs> <laughs> Approve ang loan. Okay. Thank you once again. So, oh, once again, Boss Panda. Ay, may pahabol pa lang tanong, Boss Panda. Sorry, guys. Bakit pala doon, <laughs> Boss Panda pala? Yeah, we're curious as well. Oh. Actually no, marami din tatanong niyan no. Medyo matabaho kasi talaga ako no. So Aray. palagi akong sinasabihan na baboy Aray. sa totoo lang. So masyado kasi masama sa negosyo actually sa mga Chinese people in China. Magandang represent representation ng panda for the business. Ayun po. So panda talaga is being used for uh, yung parang mascot nila para sa good business prosperity. Ayun. So that's why I'm using uh, Panda dahil unang-una, idol ko kasi yung nag-naadik ko kasi ako doon sa Kung Fu Panda because it's it's a very good movie. Nag-sorry, nag-vlog pa ako. It's a very good movie for pinatawag natin positivity. So it really teaches a lot of uh, good behavior sa isang tao in which you can use for your own everyday personal life. Ayun. Ayan. For sure na sagutan ni Boss Panda, bakit nga ba Boss Panda? All right, thank you for, very much for, for that wonderful explanation, sir. And yon, uh, uh, moving forward, the tayo partner for our next activity. Okay, uh, let's give it the floor to a partner AJ, Laurel, and Carly. Ayan, thank you, boss Panda. Thank you, partner Ellie. Okay, thank you so much. And we're not going to end the fun and learning experience here, you know? A big shout out to our viewers who are still watching at this point. And because of that, we have another game for you. Shall we start, partner? Yes. Let's go ahead, Oriel. Ooh, okay. Let's guess the food by emojis. You can comment down your answer in our Facebook Live chat box. Let's wait for the first item. Okay, please comment your answers so we can see and announce the winner. Ano kaya yan? I'm seeing <laughs> comments and we partner, got a winner. The honor. Okay. And it's CH80, Chad. <laughs> Congratulations. It's for dogs. Congrats, Chad. Send us a message so you can claim your prize. And for the next slide, I mean the next item. Okay, let's check the comments. Let's wait. Who won this time? Comment kayo guys with your answers. May nanalo na ba? Yes! So, <laughs> we have here Karen May Saliru Salirungan. Congratulations, Karen May. You got the right answer. It's chicken soup. And for this game pala partner, ano, we forgot to mention, those winners will get 200 pesos via Gcash. So we have three more. So keep on guessing. Okay, so here's the next one. Check it on our screen. AJ, there you go. Winner. All right, we have a winner. Congratulations, Kenneth Lebed. 
The answer is donut. <laughs> Sorry. Let's see. Last two winners. Ooh. Dito matetest ang ano. Bilis sa pag-type ng mga viewers. <laughs> Kaya nga. Sayang ang 200 pesos, no? Yes. If we could only join, ano? Oh. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, we have a winner. It's Joanna Mortel, and the correct answer is pancake. Let's proceed with the last item. All right, there you go. We have a winner. Congratulations, Aika Ding. The answer is popcorn. <laughs> okay, thank you for joining us with this game. And congratulations to all winners. I hope you enjoy kayo. Stay tuned kasi maray pa tayong games na susunod, no? So, wag kayong mibitaw. And for now, let's proceed with the awarding of the plaque to be, uh, to be given to us by Bench and Ellie. Thank you so much, our beautiful partners, of course, AJ and Lariel. So now, this is the moment where, in, of course, we would like to really thank him no, for spending his time gracing this event with us. And kaya naman, partner Bench, please do the honor in awarding our token of appreciation and the plaque. All right. So let's call on Boss Panda on screen, please. And by the way, Bench, before uh, I forgot now, so I would like to announce that at this moment, we are now closing our registration, okay? So to give way for those na makakasama sa ating raffle. So again, everyone, kung sino lang po ang nakapag-register sa atin prior this moment, ang makakasama or we be, will be qualified for our raffle in a moment, okay? So, once again, let's call on Boss Panda in the screen to award our pack and... Atot lang po sa kaibigan kong Mr. Leo. Alright, and to award a plaque of appreciation is presented to Mr. Vincent Paul De Matera, a.k.a. Boss Panda. Our sincerest appreciation for imparting your knowledge, experience, and expertise in the field of business for the webinar, webinar entitled Microbus. Maraming maraming salamat po. Yes, thank you, thank you so much. And we would like to call on once again our uh, partners, uh, mga hosts, to have another photo. Yes, Boss Panda, would you like to say something? Shout out po kay Mr. Leo Bautista. Oh, yes. <laughs> For bringing thank the, you. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, grab an effort. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, yes, uh, sa ating classmate na si Kuya Leo for um, his effort na talagang ma-present ng personal sa ating guest. So once again, we would like to call on our um, co-partners -co here, co-hosts, for us for another photo op together with the plaque and of course with Boss Panda. So let's take this moment, let's capture this kasi once in a lifetime to be with Boss Panda. Baka yung mga susunod na moment, million na ang kanyang mga followers, di ba? <laughs> yes. All right, so please be ready once again. You think approve and loan. <laughs> All right. Okay. 
Ang saya, di ba? So again, thank you, thank you again, Boss Panda. We are so happy. Our heart and mind are full today. So again, we hope that we will hear from you again with a di- different topic very, very soon. God bless. Sure. Thank you okay. so much. Thank Maraming you salamat po. Maraming salamat. All right. Thank you, Boss Panda, for giving your time to all of us and giving the opportunity to be able to share your knowledge sa lahat ng graduating students. Ayun. So, actually, ano, mga, mga partners, so medyo nakakalungkot na masaya kasi this will be our last um, activity na paggawa sa atin bilang estudyante ng Polytechnic University of the Philippines. Sabi nga ni nila is hashtag road to PICC na talaga tayo. At wala na makakapikil doon. <laughs> yes. Uh, Boss Panda, can you stay po a little longer? Kasi po, kayo po yung sure. mag-a-announce ng mga susunod na winners pa po. Yes. So, sure. Okay. Yan yung bonggang-bonggang pa-premia partner. Diyos ko, kung pwede ko lang yes. ilagay yung pangalang ko dyan. Ay! Oo nga, <laughs> bakit gano'n? <laughs> Yan yung pasabog ni Boss okay, Panda. Okay, so Okay, so speaking yeah, so stay of... Tune, everyone. Uh, simulan natin yung raffle natin para na makapagpasaya tayo ng dalawang ano, ng dalawang individual na maaaring mabago yung mga yun nila. Okay? Tatlo, partner. Alright, alright. Sorry, sorry. Tatlo pala. So, ang total ang okay. papamigay natin ay 7, tama ba? 5 na mananalo ng GCash, 300 peso worth of GCash. And yung dalawa naman is yung grand prize natin, care of Boss Panda. And... Uh- for this game, there will be five winners of 300 pesos. Okay. So, start tayo. Magro-roleta tayo ng mananalo. And kung sininalabas na pangalan na sa screen, siya yung mananalo ng 300 pesos. Sure. For those right. who did not win yet, this is your chance. Okay. Sige, sige. So, start tayo. Okay. So, ang ating first winner ay si Mr. Patrick Malone M. Ponce. So, congratulations, Patrick. Uh, may click mo kami para bigyan ka namin ng instruction kung paano mo makiklaim yung yung prize. Next winner, uh, let's go. Okay, we have our third winner, Jerwin Yumul. Congratulations! Our winner natin is Miss Michelle Holgo. Congratulations! Our last winner, napakaswerte, oh. Mary Ann D. Wong. Here okay, we go. Congratulations. We all have the five winners. Thank you. Nalo. Now, let's proceed to the next uh, stage of our event. Yeah, let's call our, ano, our co-host para papakilala natin ang ating yes. hotel or for the closing remarks. Okay, we're back. And okay, think- of course. Thank you. Thank you again, partners. No, So congratulations to all the winners. So please make sure to comment or uh, message us in our Facebook page for you to claim your prizes. Okay? And finally, ito na nga mga partners. This is the moment that we will be hearing from our fabulous and dazzling professor. Okay, anyone? Let's all watch this. Video, please. Good 
Good morning. Good um, morning. Nagulat ako sa mga pictures sa saan yung nakuha yun. <laughs> Clear naman yung audio ko. Yes, yes, bro. Yes, bro. Yes, bro. Yes, bro. Yes, bro. Yes, bro. Thank you for that beautiful introduction and for the pictures. All right. So, um, good morning. Good morning, pa ba? Yeah, good morning, pa. So, first and foremost, uh, I would like to extend a heartfelt thank you to our speaker, Boss Panda. Um, thank you for the very informative talk and thank you for taking the time to be here with us today. You know, uh, very exciting. Kasi ang alam ko may pa-surprise pa, eh, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, the discussion plus the personal experience and yung gusto ko talaga dito sa webinar natin. And I'm sure the participants learned a lot and marami silang key takeaways today. And of course, I would like to express my deepest gratitude to all the participants who have joined us and making this webinar a success. And dami natin kasama, right? Parang thousands ata na mention kanina. Okay. Yeah. So, of yeah, hopefully you gained a lot today and you have something to apply in your business and in your everyday lives. And of course, uh, gusto ko ring i-commend yung mga hosts natin. Ellie, Bench, L'Oreal, AJ, and Karvik. Very energetic and engaging. I'm sure you all agree, right? And lastly naman, I would like to congratulate the organizers of this Event, the whole BS Entrepreneurship 4-4. I know that you exerted a lot of effort in this event. From from the planning up to the execution, kita ko naman yung update nyo dun sa GC natin. So, excellent work, guys. Good job. And yes, congratulations in advance for your upcoming graduation. Once again, thank you so much and have a great weekend. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Yes, bro. So, yes, before you leave, bro, Kaya, can we have a photo of with you and also with our speaker? Can we uh, join him once again? Ayan. So, pamasubukan. <laughs> Siyempre, di ba? Ito na nga ang ating last hurrah for this. Grabe naman. Before tayo to road to PICC. Kaya samantalahin uli natin. Ayan. So, Doki team, let's capture this. Once more, smile. All right. So, I think we're good. Thank you. Thank you so much again, uh, Boss Panda and Pro, for joining us again in uh, on screen. Okay, pero bago yung partner, no? Uh, si Boss Panda ay hindi mo na tayo iiwan dahil meron siyang pasabog yung yeah. dalawang future for today. Ito na inaabangan ng lahat part mo. Yeah, so maybe yan. We can ready now the raffle draw. Yeah, si Boss Panda na. Sige, <laughs> Boss Panda, ikaw na ang mag-announce ng uh, surprise na talaga na bonggang-bongga. And kanina nga lang din natin nalaman, no? Panda? Yes, do the um, other bus panda, please. Ang napili po sa ating raffle ng uh, franchise milk tea ng aking brand, which is VIP Milk Tea PH, um, worth of 50,000 goods and equipments na yun. Ayon, so talagang mag start ka na lang ng negosyo. I see Zyle Vien Yu Ong. Ayon po. So, congratulations. Ano ba ito? Lalaki ba eh? Sana all. Lalaki ba eh? Salve yan. Ayan. Miss Ong. Congratulations po. Ayan. Ayan po. So, pakit message lang po si Microboost team um, kung paano nyo po makiklaim yung prices po ninyo. Alright. Okay, so, bitinin muna natin to kasi mukhang excited okay. na excited na sila eh, no? <laughs> Ako di kinakabahan. So, true. Pag-comment muna kayo. Yan, VIP Milk Tea, so Boss far. Panda. Hashtag Boss Panda sa comment section. You can play. Ayan, ulanin nyo. Sa 
comment section natin no para mabasa True. ni Boss Panda how he is oh, able to Ang dami nito comment niya no. Congratulations Vien Sheng. Vien Sheng ayun <laughs> nakalagay. Oh, oh. Congrats Miss <laughs> Vien Sheng. <Paulanin. laughs> Phil Vien. Oh, ngayon. Paulanin natin ang comment. Ayun, ang ating comment section and of course express your gratitude sa ating speaker plus the learnings the takeaways na talaga namang napulot natin today. So, yes. go. Before that, Sis Ellie, I have a message for you. Kindly check VIP. Yeah. Ayan, tignan natin yan. Okay, so don't forget na i-follow si Boss Panda sa kanyang mga social media account. Para naman matuto pa kayo. Marami siyang contents na sobrang informative. I'm sure kahit hindi kayo nagdinegosyo, kahit sa mga personal na mga buhay ninyo, ma-apply nyo yung learnings na to. Exactly, partner. So sa mga uh, viewers natin ngayon, hindi lang sila natuto, hindi lang sila nanalo, nag-enjoy pa sila ngayong umaga ito, partner. Ayan. So may mga pa-shoutout tayo. VIP Milky, hashtag Boss Panda, sabi ni Jerome Zamoras. Alright. Sino tayo may mga pa-shoutout dyan? Okay, let's see on the screen. And congratulations kay Zilvian Ong. Alright, actually, personally kilala ko siya, kaya congratulations sa iyo. And sabi ni Bel Sanchez Estipona, ayun, nag-shoutout din siya. Let's hear, or let's see some shoutouts pa. Na makikita sa ating sabi ni Mike Reyes, Hashtag VIP, hashtag Boss Panda na. <laughs> Grabe, nakakapag. Yeah, Nakaka-pressure, nakaka-tense. <laughs> Ako din. Wala naman mm. yung pangalan natin. <laughs> walang, walang patungan din yung video ngayon. Oh my God. Congratulations to Miss Anna Marie Sirwet. Ayon. So congratulations to Miss Anna Marie. Pati hashtag Boss Panda VIP naman dyan. Ayun. Yes! Woo! You are our second winner of 15,000 worth of VIP Milty uh, franchise goods and equipments. Ayun po. Magninegosyo ka na lang. Ayun. Napaka-generous. Napaka-generous. Agree. Nanood ka lang, nagka-negosyo ka pa. Saan ka pa? Dito lang ito. 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 Okay. Ayun. So, mga comments, I, I hope... Panda, follower mo na ako ngayon. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> sana, you, after, sana after this, no, mas marami ang maging followers mo. So, yes. Yeah. Of yes, followers, keep on I liking, hope. following. Yeah, baka uh, pwede natin i-promote ulit, Boss Panda, ang ating social media. Yes, yeah, so we can so, share on the screen. Ayun po, please uh, follow me. Uh, and please keep sharing po my videos. Uh, uh, Boss Panda TV on Facebook, ayon. Boss Panda underscore TV on YouTube. And paminsan po, sumasayaw din po ako sa TikTok. Ayon, Boss Panda underscore TV sa, t- sa TikTok. Ayon po. So, um, uh, I'm a person po. I'm a jolly person. Uh, marami akong kataranta doon sa social media. Pero uh, it's definitely for sure marami kayong matututunan sa akin. Ayon. Yan, thank you, thank you, sir. No? And definitely, yung support ng aming section ay nakuha din. Uh, uh, kaya, ka-advise ko na lang yung mga classmates namin na uh, kung natin sa mga social media accounts. And we would like Thank also to much. remind everyone yeah. and those who completely registered on the, our registration form ay sila lamang po ang makakatanggap ng e-certificate ng ating webinar for today na sinarado natin ng 11 a.m. exactly today, partner. So, for those na nag-register, kompleto man yan, right after 11 o'clock in this morning, pasensya na po, but we, we already...
Yes, exactly. So again, uh, Boss Panda, we thank you. Big thank you. And of course, also, this event will also not be possible. At wala tayong mga bonggang pa prizes sa Diva Today without the generous heart of our sponsors. Kaya naman, let's all say thank you to them. Watch this. Alright, maraming maraming salamat po sa ating mga sponsor for today's webinar. Tapos puso po kami nagpapasalamat sa inyo mula po sa Business Entrepreneur uh, 4.4. Maraming salamat po. Yes po, and uh, also we would like to thank uh, Polytechnic University of the Philippines, Open University System of Manila, and uh, in behalf of Bachelor of Science in Entrepreneurship, um, maraming maraming salat. Salamat po sa lahat na nag-organize um, with, with our viewers and of course, uh, Boss Panda. So I guess we have to close this uh, webinar um, for today. And I, we would like also to uh, thank all the committees na yes. Yeah, of course. Na of course. Nasa likod dito, design committee. Um, all right, can we flash it again? And the program committee led by... Leonardo and Design Committee led by Carvig, the Program Committee, and the Facebook Committee who led by Miss Jessa Marie, and who else? The sponsorship. Sponsorship, of course. Yan, 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 po, may, yan po ang dahilan kung bakit may budget. <laughs> Let Angela Loriel, Sir Arthur Desi, Elena, and Ronald. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pagkalap ng aming budget for today's webinar. Kaya maraming tayo mga kasabog na pa-premyo ngayon. And Ooh. check out na din si Boss Panda na napaka-generous naman ngayong araw na to. And who else the committee? Sila po yung mga nasa likod. And the certificate. The certificate. Committee. Yan po. Is, uh, who led by Mary Christine Rilosa and the others. Maraming maraming salamat po. Sila po ang nasa likod ng lahat ng webinar na ito. And also the token committee who led by Glyka Galvez. Maraming maraming salamat Miss Glyka na talaga nga namin naging auditor namin sa aming webinar na ito. Wow. All right. And we will not forget the documentation committee led by Margie. Ayan, of course. Maraming maraming salamat po. And also the technical committee na nagpakahirap po ng walang pago. Kahit madali ka ako, nagpapasabog pa rin ang mga reminders sa amin na si Drew Celestino na hindi na halos natutulog. Maraming maraming salamat po. And of course, John Paul Constantino na, at, na nakatulong sa atin sa pag-guide sa atin sa mga parapol natin today. And also, Jessie Ambuan who also helped us with the technical committee. And also, I would like to heads up si Blessie no, na tumulong din sa atin ngayong umagang ito. Thank you, Blessie Versibal. Maraming maraming salamat po. Ah, Blessie, Blessie. Alright. And, uh, I think Bessie, Blessie Versibal. Yes, thank you, thank you once again. And of course, to all, samantalahin na natin, magpasalamat sa lahat ng mga naging bahagi ng ating four years di ba sa OU, lahat ng mga naging professor natin. Because again, all the learnings, all the experiences na nakuha natin is definitely, um, eto na yun, ano, ha? yung outcome na ginagawa namin. And of course, partners, Carvig, Amlariel, AJ, and Ben, it is my pleasure na makasama kayo on screen for today's webinar. Alright, maraming maraming salamat sa inyo mga partners and for sure, nagpapasalamat din tayo muli kay Boss Panda na siya ang nagbigay sa atin ng karunungan ngayong umagang ito. Muli ako po ang inyong host partner na si Benji Magsarin. Nagpapasalamat sa Open University na hashtag road 
to PICC Bachelor of Science in Business Entrepreneur Batch 2023. Okay, take This away, it has Barbie. been Ellie Tablada. Ah, yes. yes. And I am your host, AJ. So we were going to be closing this um, webinar. And yeah, go ahead, Laurel and Garvik. Mag paalam yeah, before we close, just a reminder to answer the evaluation as well. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much to everyone behind this webinar. This won't be possible without your efforts and help. And definitely. Um, um, Nagpapasalamat kami sa lahat ng bumuo ng webinar na to. Lahat ng sumama sa atin from start to end, from the preparation hanggang sa execution. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. And again, we have been your host leaving you a message. In every crisis, there is always an opportunity waiting to be seized. We just have to look for it. Okay? Maraming salamat po ulit. Thank you everyone! God bless! Thank you, partners. Thank you, partners. Thank you.